Hi, I'm Carlos Coronado, I'm a game developer, and in this tutorial, we're actually going to see and take a look at practical practical uses of the vertex pane, which we saw in my last tutorial, link in the description. So this is actually my game Infernium, released in Switch, Steam, Humble Store, and PS4. And as you can see, this is the, the castle level of the game. And Let's see where I use Vertex Pane. Well, it turns out I use Vertex Pane everywhere. Like for example, that this wall, this wall over here, right? Whom I paint these stones. As I always say, just use a soft brush. But yeah, all these walls and all these stones are painted through Vertex Pane. It's really that simple. And to to be honest, you can make some so many so 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 many moods with it like with just lighting variations let me get out of the vertex tool with just lighting variations you can literally create so many so many so many kinds of environments and different rooms w with vertex paint only so it's actually the same texture in the walls all over the game even in the little holes and even in this area where the mood has changed yeah this is the arena puzzle where or most players struggle no so yeah everything is all this is done through bird expand so this is another level of infernium and i must say that the game works like 30 fps and 60 fps like 30 on Switch and 60 on PS4 and yeah I again I use vertex paint everywhere take a look at this floor here that this is all clearly vertex paint between you know this kind of gravel this little gravel this kind of sandy gravel and the big rock and all the floors in this level are done through this vertex paint as it is, like it's, I only I have uh, what I call pizza borders. We will see those in a new tutorial, but lo you know, like decorative assets like the grass and the flowers and these three D rocks. But yeah, like all this is vertex pain. Even here in the catacombs, everything is vertex pain. Well, I'm actually going to another level to show you this vertex pain. Yeah. Now, once you know how vertex paint works, I, I'm sure that you you notice this one so quickly, so quickly. And yeah, that's that's how it is. Like, look at this wall. All this is vertex paint between this texture, this kind of big brick texture, this like the bigger brick texture, and then some normal bricks. That's another vertex paint for you right there. The white kind of Beard pool in the in the bridge is also achieved through vertex pain, but even the waterfall has vertex pain. Like like the the lerp between the deep blue and the kind of turquoise turquoise blue, like even in the foam here at the beginning of the waterfall, these are with a couple of you know really really simple meshes. On top of it, you can really, really achieve really good looking effects. And another vertex paint on environment is actually the volcano. So this is another level of Infernium. And yeah, three vertex paint. This one, which we have already covered. This one, which we have already covered, in this wall there is only one texture, but I'm sure that if I travel here, I'll see more than one texture, like the brick walls and the smaller bricks. But can you can you see the other vertex pane? Yep, right here, the lava. I have a vertex pane between three textures, like like the macro map of the lava environment. I have another one for this kind of more hot lava and another one for this more 
cold lava if you can't even say that lava is cold <laughs> but yeah there's a vertex pain and i also use vertex pain in these rocks to put like make the effect that the lava has reached here and this part is still hot and yeah have you noticed that little movement over there yep the waves are actually also painted with vertex paint that way i can control that it's never going to float here see that's the maximum and in the parts where there is no no platforms the waves are bigger and the vertex and the lava and the vertex paint it's used in the vertex of it and let's going to take a look at this shader so this is the shader itself this is the wall position offset right and this wall position offset is controlled through the blue channel because i multiply everything it's this is actually useless i don't know why i have this here but i multiply i make a lerp or between the waves and zero and we can actually take a look at what's going to happen if i try if i paint it oops i'm going to paint just in the blue channel see no wave and now the wave is appearing like here like if i don't want wave i paint and no wave pop, 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 no wave and now i paint wave. but of course what is going to happen is it's going to flood this platform so what i have to do is i need to paint soft the transition between maximum waves and no waves at all something like, like this right so this is for infernium released in april for whoops too many <laughs> yeah something like this so this is the vertex paint uh, for a game for consoles like infernium uh switch ps4 and steam let's go to any amber release for grbr and let's see how the vertex paint looks there 